Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. Under the special attention of the United States, Huawei's various businesses have encountered changes. Countries have chosen to abandon cooperation in 5G globalization. The 5G network for smartphones is no longer available, and the design chips cannot be used for OEM. Huawei was not discouraged by this, but instead increased its layout. In this regard, Two pieces of news from Huawei are related to the development of new flagship phones and chips. Huawei Shu Jijun said that 2022 is the year when Huawei turned the crisis into safety, and its various revenues met expectations. This shows that Huawei has found a way to continue to develop, and has taken a key step in the goal of surviving. However, Huawei still cannot relax. Since 2023, market changes have continued. The United States is trying to start the fifth round of restrictive measures against Huawei, cutting off Huawei's access to 4G, Wi-Fi 6, artificial intelligence, and other chip products. If the United States launches the fifth round of rules, I am afraid that American companies will also feel uncomfortable. Qualcomm stated that it can continue to supply Huawei. With the support of Qualcomm chips, Huawei's smartphone business can continue. So Huawei started to fight back and stop losses, and two messages came. The first news, Huawei officially announced the release time of P60. Previously, there were rumors in the industry that Huawei would sell its mobile phone business as a whole, but Huawei refuted the rumors and said that it would release a new flagship phone, the P60 series, in March. At present, Huawei has officially announced the release time of the P60 and will hold a spring flagship new product launch conference on March 23rd. Due to the influence of the rules, Huawei changed from two flagships a year to one flagship a year. Last year it was Mate 50, this year it was P60, next year it was Mate 60, and so on. Although the number of releases has decreased, the product quality has not decreased, and judging from the news of the P60, the imaging system has been greatly enhanced. The news broke that the P60 Pro is equipped with a 64-megapixel Omnivision OV64B telephoto camera, supports 3.5x optical zoom, and will also be equipped with Huawei's self-developed XMAJ image. In terms of screen, it may use BOE 120Hz 2K BOE high refresh screen. In terms of battery life, it supports 100W wired and 50W wireless fast charging. Of course, the P60 will also be Huawei's second flagship phone to support satellite communications, which can send text messages to contacts in an emergency. Huawei's official announcement of the release time of the P60 is actually a counterattack indicating that Huawei is ready for the debut of the new phone, using brand new mobile phone products to regain its market share and get back flagship users from Apple. Of course, since the P60 has not yet been officially released, it is still unknown whether the news is accurate or how the market will perform. We still need to wait and see but I believe that the arrival of the P60 will definitely cause another wave of market upsurge. The second message, Huawei refuted the rumor that the chip stacking technology has been successfully developed. Huawei has developed chip stacking technology and issued related patents. 
Huawei said that it can use stacking to make less advanced products competitive. So the rumors came, and various news about the successful development of Huawei's chip stacking technology solution began to appear on the internet, making the outside world think that Huawei has successfully stacked two 40 nanometers chips together and then can achieve 7 nanometers performance. Regarding this news, Huawei refuted the rumors, saying that the news of the successful development of the chip stack circulating on the internet is a counterfeit and a rumor. So what exactly is chip stacking technology, and what progress is Huawei in the research and development of chip stacking technology? From a literal point of view, it is easy to understand chip stacking as the superposition of two chips, not to mention whether the superposition combination can be realized, even if it is successful, how to solve the problems of power consumption, size, cost, performance, and computing. This is not a simple arithmetic operation, and all aspects involved are huge challenges, even more difficult than building a single chip. The real chip stack should use the multi-core structure to reconfigure and enhance the performance of the process software. In April last year, Huawei issued a patent for a chip stack package and terminal equipment. In May of the same year, it released a patent for chip stack package structure and its packaging method, and electronic equipment. This shows that Huawei's research on chip stacking technology does exist, but unlike the rumored successful development, it is even more wrong to say that two 14 nanometers chips are stacked into a 7 nanometers chip. Rumors stop at the whys, and Huawei has refuted the rumors, so when you see similar news again, you need to maintain an objective and rational view. Huawei's timely refutation of rumors is equivalent to stopping losses. Otherwise, once such news spreads uncontrollably, it will easily affect Huawei's R&D rhythm and attract unnecessary attention from the United States. Huawei launched a counterattack and stop losses and news of the P60 release time and rumored chip stacking technology came respectively. People's Daily said that we must abandon illusions and insist on self-research. Huawei's current achievements are all brought about by self-research, and it is also a solid foundation for self-research technology to reach this point. Huawei still has a long way to go in the future, and the mobile phone business still needs to solve problems in chips and 5G networks, but I believe that as long as Huawei persists, there will be hope and dawn one day. If you like this video, please like it, welcome to Forward, comment and share.